The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Neo Osaka, weighing in at 188 pounds, the Snake Eye. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence of true Nigerian royalty. Or obnoxious royalty. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. Since finding oh. his true self, he's reached greater heights. Perhaps this version of Apollo Crews rubs a few people the wrong way, but the proof is in the pudding, as they say. A United States champion, intercontinental champion, the change of attitude has served Crews extremely well. And you got to believe that change in attitude will ensure more gold in the future of Apollo Crews. I could not agree anymore. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And then we got a man who is built like a Greek god, Apollo Crews. A superstar whose incredible ambitions are only outshone by his incredible abilities, strength, Agility, speed, Cruz can really do it all in the ring. I agree, Corey, but I might call it ruthless ambition. Cruz is only interested in his own personal glory, and he won't let anything stand in his way. Takes out the knee. Those bright ambitions of Apollo Cruz got sidelined for a moment by that. Watch out. Diving foot stop to the chest. Cruz's resolve might be wavering here. Some flaws in Cruz's game plan are being exposed. Cruz with a retaliation. Apollo is going to look to press on the advantage. Could be a change of fortunes for Cruz. Corey, any advice for taking on a tough competitor like Apollo Cruz? Keep Apollo where you can see him at all times. Between his agility and willingness to bend the rules, anytime he's out of sight, you could be in big trouble. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Suplex brings them down. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Apollo fends that off. Big forearm. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, put down face first. Producing a trampling. Turning the tables there. Here's a combo of strikes. Wow. He deflects it right back. German suplex. He's taking some good hits. Uses the edge of the knee. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Splash! What a ruthless showcase of ability from... He's got him down. Is this it? Just after two. Not yet. That gets reversed on Apollo. Right on the chops. Floor hard. Up to the top rope now. Take off. Oh, straight to the floor. That 
is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. Right to the back. Apollo fends that off. Three. Neck breaker. And that one misses the mark. Bash with a punch to the gut. Rip Record. Oh, run. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. face. Ooh, wee. Apollo isn't being given any room to recover. This is how you mitigate Apollo's rule-breaking tactics, by going on the offensive and keeping him in your sights. With the reversal! Ooh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. He reverses it. He's getting pushed onto the defensive. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Good timing with that reversal. He turns it around. He returns to the ring. Ugh. Had that one scouted.
Maggi has other plans here. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Miss. Stake made by Cruz. the knee this has become a monumental struggle for these competitors it is down to who still has the energy the resolve to put the pedal to the metal wow picture perfect moonsault did you see that propelled through the air consecutive high risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up he's taking this to the floor now Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. What is he doing here? Oh, no, get down from there. Get down from there. You don't have to do this. Ooh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. He slides back into the ring. And this match will head back to the ring. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Back suplex on the apron. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. And Apollo not allowing fatigue to hold him back now. Apollo is proving it'll take a lot of... Oh, boom! And a forearm! On point. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Everyone he shoves him onto the announce table, looking to end this in spectacular fashion. How do you survive this the rubble surrounding the announce area is a monument to the aggression between these competitors. I don't think this is about winning anymore. It's about annihilating your opponent. The volume in this building has increased. Perched on the shoulders. Boom! Oh! Feast your eyes. And Apollo's laid out. Shoulders down. And that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.